When you think about slavery, you don't think about South Australia. You don't think of it as something happening as part of our everyday life. It's time to bring this issue out of the shadows. In the last decade, a lot has been done to remove slavery and slavery-like practices from supply chains overseas. People are using their buying power to take a stand against corporations who make clothes in factories that don't pay a living wage or make tech products in unsafe and exploitative working conditions. Now it's time to look at how this is happening close to home. We produced a research report on these human rights crimes. We know the most vulnerable are foreign and temporary workers. This goes much farther than being paid less than the minimum wage. We have heard about accommodation rackets where employers are overcharging for crowded accommodations, transport to work and internet access that is almost the worker's entire weekly wage. So essentially they are working for free. These stories are alarming. The employers know their workers don't have a support network here. They know that workers cannot speak out as visa condition infringements are taken more seriously by authorities than workers' complaints. We have heard of women who were sexually exploited by their employer as a requirement to get more hours. This was in a remote area, a place without much support and where it wasn't possible for the women to live easily. We're talking about serious human rights violation. These violations are not just in remote areas. We have heard of many cases in hospitality, in 24-7 businesses like petrol stations and in the cleaning industry. We found that international university students are targets for this severe mistreatment. We have heard of students whose passport were held by their employers. They were forced to work excessive overtime or risk losing their jobs. This violated their visa conditions and their employer used this as a threat to report these young people to the authorities. Our research suggests that a trip to the supermarket to buy fruit, filling up a car at the petrol station or eating out at a restaurant could be part of a supply chain where people are being exploited. We can do more. There are frameworks to keep businesses accountable. There can be better support available for people as we know they hold a genuine fear about the repercussions of speaking out. This is why we produced this report and it's why we are calling for a state inquiry into this issue. My name is Marinella Marmo. I'm an associate professor in law and criminology at Flinders University. This is happening around us in South Australia. It's time to shine a light on the people who deserve to be seen and deserve to be protected.